Hi, I'm John Heinz, the CEO of Aptage. Today, I get to introduce our Aptage Risk Burndown tool. This conversation plays out again and again. Will you finish on time? It's me. I really need to know. Too bad. Of course, that's almost always followed by very predictable failures. My favorite anti-pattern failure is the green, 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 red problem. This is the problem where the project looks fine right up until the end when it turns red and it causes an emergency. We at Aptage believe that uncertainty is natural and in fact should never be 0%. Estimates simply aren't promises and our capacity really isn't fixed. And this is especially true for any innovative work that by its nature of unknowns has more uncertainty. Uncertainty naturally leads to risk. The types of risks that we're talking about are going long or missing important schedule dates and milestones, or missing important features or not having enough scope in the project to be valuable. Of course, we're talking about things related to the Iron Triangle, where managing scope and schedule are advice often given, but tools like Aptage provide us with the analytics to be able to understand what those changes mean. In this case, we can build out scenarios that understand what scope or schedule modifications will do to the risk in our projects. We believe that by embracing uncertainty, we can start new types of conversations. We can ask the right questions and get the right actionable answers. What is our risk of going long? This project indicates a 34% risk of going long. This is much more insight than typically is given into projects. And simply knowing this answer allows us to make better decisions. How much risk do we accept right now? When we can measure the risk in a project, we can start talking about it and decide how much we want to adopt for our own projects. This is a conversation amongst many stakeholders, and it revolves around the nature of the project that we're embarking on, and also the work that's planned and scheduled within it. We have found that conservative projects usually start with risk levels around 20% chance of going long. Innovative projects can be as high as 60% risk of going long. Of course, these different types of projects need different types of support, executive sponsorship, and resource allocations in order to be able to manage them effectively. Also, when we can measure the risk in a project, we can track it through the life of that project. So understanding how is the project going is now something that we can instrument. Risk should be reduced as the project proceeds, and we can generate dashboards that give us strong indications based on these risk numbers, whether our projects are in the green, yellow, or red state, and we can do that much earlier than other methods. Different projects will have different risk stories. Some projects are very low risk, some are very high risk. And those that are high risk can be badly managed and never pull the risk down below safe levels, or they can be well managed and the risk is managed down early in the project and continuously to a successful conclusion. What stories are your projects telling right now? Thank you, and we'd love you to schedule a conversation with us or to see a live demo. We'd like to talk about your own projects and what Aptage can help tell you about the nature, execution, and delivery of them.